Hello VC, Roger here. Just going to uh, do a few videos. Had picked up several and I don't want to put them all in one and make it too stinking long. Uh, but I've picked up a few uh, records lately and I'll just get started on it. First, Mel Torme and Buddy Rich together again for the first time. Pretty decent record. Side one features Mel Torme a lot more than Buddy Rich. And so he's not a whole lot on there, but side two has a little more Buddy Rich getting after it on his drums and featuring him on some solos and stuff a little more. Uh, so side two made it worth getting, uh, and I got it at a good price, so I'm not going to gripe about it. But anyway, another Buddy Rich. I always like picking his up. This one I saw, and I just, just the uniqueness of it. I never had heard of it. George Jones and Gene Pitney. To me, those two do not go together. And I thought, okay, maybe it's one side George Jones, the other side's Gene Pitney. No, it's them doing duets for the most part through the whole record. Uh, different, a little poppy for George Jones, a little too country for Gene Pitney. So it's kind of a oddball mixture there. But uh, some of the songs are okay. Uh, as an album as a whole, I didn't care for it. I had to pick this one up, Tanya Tucker's Delta Dawn. Uh, I mentioned in a video uh, that uh, oh, my mind just went blank. Horror Biz, his contest about show your local artist regional. I mentioned Tanya Tucker, and I, I didn't have anything of hers. And I saw this, I thought, well, I've got to pick this up. And of course, it has Delta Dawn, the big hit of hers. Uh, on it, and it's a good, good, good record. I like that. Uh, this one, my dad just gave it to me. He said, "Here." One day I was over at his house. He said, "Here, take this home with you." So I always like picking Nat King Cole stuff up. You can usually get it at a decent price, and I like his music. Uh, for the most part, I, there's been one or two that didn't just really blow me away, but for the most part, I like. Nat King Cole's music, uh, you know, let's get, you got to be in the mood for that jazzy, that mellow style, but another, anyway, unforgettable, his big hit, of course, on there, and then I've picked uh, these next few up at an estate sale that was, price was right, and I've told y'all before, of the Rat Pack, I like Dean Martin, and so when I came across these, didn't have them, Price was right. Condition was pretty good. Only thing, wrote her name on the back of that one. But uh, anyway, Cha Cha De Amor. Uh, not my favorite, Dean Martin. But but it's good. It's good. I like Dean Martin, so I liked it. Uh, Welcome to My World. Another Dean Martin. Uh, this one, some of them... I was mixed. Some of the songs I like, some of them I didn't care for at all. So it's kind of a mixed bag on, on his on this one. So uh, one more Dean Martin I picked up. Dean Tex Martin. All country stuff that he did. And pretty good. Kind of different Dean Martin singing country, but uh, I liked him and Ricky Nelson singing together in Real Bravo, so the movie. So I thought that was, I thought he did a good job. Uh, considering that uh, let me grab these right here this was also with that last group I just showed you the Dean Martins Glenn Campbell live I like Glenn Campbell and usually you can get his stuff fairly cheap and when I find them in real good condition or you know VG at least and this was pretty good it's a double record a uh, little ring wear, but records are in great shape. Uh, so I was glad to pick that one up. Some live stuff of his. Uh, live for a sell, sellout show in New Jersey. So that was a good one. Wichita Lineman. This was an upgrade copy for me. I've seen this one before, but that always been ratted out. Twelve string acoustic or twelve, the uh, the astounding twelve string guitar of Glenn Campbell, and you know a lot of 
people think of Glen Campbell as this pop country singer, but man, if you don't know Glen Campbell, listen to him play. Man, he is an awesome guitar player, and he started out as a, a session musician, and uh, so he's on a bunch of early stuff from session work, and ended up getting his own a chance to sing his own stuff. So, and uh, another, I think this one may even be his very first one. Uh, too late to worry, too blue to cry good copy of this i'd seen this one only once more in the wild but it was in real bad shape but this one was in good shape so snatched on to it one more glenn campbell glenn campbell's greatest hits and i've got to do some comparison i have another one of his that says glenn campbell's greatest hits and it gives the same number on it but the covers are different and on this one it says limited certified edition number 800 of 2000 so i'm i'm not sure what's going on with that i haven't been able to find anything out on that so i'm gonna do a little more looking on that one try to find something out uh good clean copy lobo of course it's got the uh promo copy uh, it's not a stamped or anything other than the, the label here, but it's got the hype sticker that it's not a sticker. It's actually printed on the album, on the sleeve. Uh, me and you and a dog named Boo. Uh, that was, I guess, Lobo's biggest hit. Uh, biggest one I can think of anyway. So, good record. I like that. This is another one of those, if I can find them in good shape. Peter, Paul, and Mary. If I can find good, clean copies in good shape, usually you can pick their stuff up for cheap. And this one was in good shape. Had one little nick in the deal here. It looked like this corner had been hit one time. Other than that, the cover's in great shape. A little bit of wear, but not bad. Uh, the vinyl is in real good shape. It's, I don't know if I can... And it's a gold label. Gold label Warner Brothers, but man, that, the album itself is in excellent. I'd call it definitely a near mint. And one last one, and this is one that around here at least I never see. I have never seen any of his music in the wild. Billy Hurst, I know you'd like that one. George Strait, does Fort Worth ever cross your mind? Uh, George Strait was very popular in this area. Uh, I don't know if people are just holding on to the records. They still like him. Or if it's just people aren't getting rid of his stuff. Uh, or maybe even the fact that, at least in estate sales and stuff like that, I'm assuming maybe the kids or whatever are latching on to them. But I've never seen, this is the first George Strait I've ever seen in the wild out here, so... Glad to pick that one up for a dollar. Excellent, excellent shape. Good, clean cover. Vinyl's in great shape. Got the MCA cover or label on it. But anyway, uh, just a quick update there. Uh, I want to do just a few quick shout outs also. Uh, there's some guys that I've watched their channels and a new guy that I've stumbled across that I want to mention here. Uh, start off with is Bradley and his channel is called William Now. Uh, he has very few subscribers, but he has, if you like the jazz stuff, he is a lot, he's very good, big in jazz, but he does have some classic rock and some other stuff like that, but real good jazz very knowledgeable he doesn't have a ton of videos out but he's he's put several out go check him out uh also listen to records uh texas guy he's i think he's from houston area if i'm not mistaken uh but rock country good variety there of stuff uh another one vinyl soul revival classic rock and some of you guys may a lot of you guys may be already subscribed to them all these people but uh, vinyl soul revival 
I was kind of new to him. Uh, good classic rock stuff. I like liked his channel. And then this last one, he has several subscribers, but he's got a good channel. Luke's, and I'll, Luke, if I mispronounce your last name, I am sorry, Skyum. And he's from New York. His last name is S-C-I-O-M. Luke Skyum. Uh, great channel. Check him out. Uh, just wanted to throw those out there. Uh, yeah, Luke's got rock. He's got a good variety of taste, but rock, heavy metal. Uh, hard, I say I don't know if he's got that much heavy metal, but hard rock and rock and pop rock, uh, all of that era of type stuff. So anyway, check Luke out. And anyway, uh, I've got one more that I want to show film here in just a minute. I just didn't want to make a humongous long one here, so because uh, I've got to go in details on some of those other, on these next ones. But anyway, glad to be back. It's been a while since I've recorded one. Uh, been watching a lot. I haven't commented a lot. I've been busy. I've uh, been barely able to watch very many. So I'm, if I don't comment, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm not watching. But I am trying to catch up on all the videos and where I see comments that I can make that seem relevant or whatever beyond just the, hey, great great record or whatever uh, i'll try to throw in some comments but anyway uh see y'all around next video uh be blessed